Hello Philippines, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest update. This is the uh, weather analysis for this uh, Monday to Wednesday, April 28th to 30th, 2025. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. Now, let's begin with our update. We are uh, keeping an eye of a low pressure area southeast of Mindanao. This is LPA 99W, which uh, might become a uh, tropical depression based on the various computer models. But the latest now from the European models, it looks like it will remain as an LPA throughout its lifetime. And uh, this is uh, quite different from the previous run, which shows a tropical depression forming in the vicinity of Catanduanes, but right now it's no longer there. So, uh, but if we look at the American model, there's another storm that will form in the middle of the uh, Western Pacific. So we are keeping an eye on that as well. We're going to show to you the latest update. So right now it's still at 50-50 chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. So we could expect rain showers and thunderstorms every afternoon, isolated, okay, in uh, various sections of the country as we move into the first week of May. Now here's the uh, graph set we uh, issued uh, early this morning, and this is the one that we are observing, LPA 99W, quasi-stationary, barely moving, is southeast of Mindanao, and the trough will continue to bring thunderstorms across portions of Mindanao, Palawan, and the Sulu Archipelago. Meanwhile, the east release will bring some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening in uh, various sections of southern Luzon, including Metro Manila, Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and eastern Mindanao, as well as some mountainous areas of uh, Luzon, northern and central Luzon. Okay, so don't forget to bring your rain gear, umbrellas, so far, that's the uh, latest on the LPA. Here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin. So it's still struggling to develop. The LPA is somewhere here. Okay. The American model is forecasting another one that will form here. But so far, the European model doesn't show a thing. Okay. So no development is uh, forecast based on the Euro model. Use the zoom in satellite animation from winter.com. And finally, after almost one month of no rainfall, it looks like thunderstorms are back and it will bring uh, lightning strikes. Uh, so take all necessary precautions, heavy downpour in uh, isolated areas of the country. We have one here in Naga and also various parts of southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Here's the uh, latest uh, forecast from the American model. So uh, by uh, tomorrow afternoon, the LPA is right here, west of Palau. And there's another one here that could form Wednesday, April 30. It looks like the uh, uh, LPA farther to the east will develop. While the LPA here over Palau remains as an LPA. So, May 1st, Labor Day, there you go. It's slowly developing. And, uh, May 2, Friday, the LPA is now right here. And there's another one here. So, there are two systems. But the one uh, to the east will be the first one that is expect expected to develop. And due to its close uh, proximity and uh, closer to landmass, this uh, left system will dissipate, and uh, the one to the to the right will be the dominant feature. So May four, five, six, and seven. 
the LPA over Samar will dissipate and here comes the uh, uh, other LPA that could become a typhoon. But again, the forecast is more than 5 days, so highly uncertain, less than 30% probability. So it may come true or not. So once the forecast agrees on all uh, agencies, the possibility will be high. Okay? So we are not going to uh, put our attention on the American model. If we look at the uh, European model, the LPA here is forecast to uh, remain as an LPA as it moves towards uh, Dabo region on uh, the last day of uh, uh, April. And on May 1st, it will be uh, moving into the shorelines of Eastern Mindanao, Davao Oriental area. And uh, May 2, it's likely to weaken farther and will dissipate on May 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it will just be a very weak LPA or a uh, surface trough. But again, during the first days of uh, May, we expect thunderstorms to occur. Okay. Actually, today, tomorrow, and in the, the following uh, days through the weekend, we expect afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms in uh, various sections of southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, including Palawan. So May 1, there's a thunderstorm here over eastern uh, Visayas. So these are isolated ones. So there are days that there will be no thunderstorms in your area. So it depends on where the clouds or the uh, cumulonimbus uh, that creates thunderstorms will be forming so there you go on the first days of may there are some thunderstorms forming across uh, visayas palawan and mindanao and some portions of uh, luzon as well as you can see it here so it looks like we will be having some chances of daily afternoon or evening rain showers or thunderstorms in uh, not all the uh, areas just selected areas okay so that's the latest from the uh, european model so don't forget to bring your umbrellas rain gear keep it uh, handy since we are now expecting more thunderstorms within the next seven days and for the wave uh, forecast today until uh, the weekend May 1 to May uh, 4, the wave heights over the East Philippine Sea will be uh, around 1 meter, while over the inland waters of the Philippines will be come to less than five, uh, less than 0.5 meter, as well as over the West Philippine Sea, including the Kalayana Island Group, which is very suitable for fishing and sea travel. So, nothing to worry when it comes to wave heights across the uh, Philippine waters so uh, fishermen and uh, those who travel by sea is safe enough to go out okay so there you go that's the latest we will keep you updated on that LPA so we will be back on Wednesday for another update if this LPA becomes a tropical depression or become an active LPA we will be issuing uh once a day updates okay daily updates so watch out for that again this is mike padua saying a good day to all stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel god bless to all